Hey guys, PDF and Peach Tools, awesome to see you here again. Hey, today I want to have a bit of a yarn about plasma cutter torch guides, like guides for these plasma torches, like we've got a little torch here and the bigger torch here. So if you're looking for a guide, you know, to help you do a bit of uh, fancy cutting or a bit of fancy footwork with the old plasma torch, have a look at the video, see what you think guys. Yeah, so guys, most of you guys that I'm talking to online, um, are using these little torches here, it's like a, a PT31 or an LG40 torch. Um, under 40 amp, 40, 50 amp is, seems to be the most common thing. But, um, yeah, to find a guide for these is, well, it's not difficult, but they're a little bit more expensive than, than something like um, a torch like this, which is like a Panasonic 100 amp torch. Um, it's quite a beefy torch, but it's a three-phase torch as well, and it's a pilot arc, and, and a lot of you guys in your workshops don't, don't, use this sort of torch but um, you can buy these these here torch guides I mean they're quite cheap um, you can buy them on Amazon or something like that I'll put a link below if you want to get something like this on Amazon and you just um, put them on put them on like so you know tighten up your, your Allen screws like that and um, you're all ready to go you put it on your work and you drive it around and you can steer it and do all sorts of things and it's you know, it works quite well, but that's all very well if it fits on this torch. But if you're looking for something for like an LG40 or a PT31, mind you, if you want some more information on this, check up the top of the video there. I'll put a link on one of my other videos, and it's got an in-depth video on there, so check that out too if you want to, guys. But, I mean, if you're trying to use something like this on a little torch like this, it isn't going to work, obviously. I mean, I've tried mucking around, making sleeves, and doing all sorts of funny things for these, but it's just really not worth the aggravation. So what I come up with was these, which is the, your standard like circle cutter that you can get um, on Amazon or whatever. But those, uh, I wouldn't say they're expensive, but they're dearer than um, dearer than, than something like this. I mean, this you can get for six or seven dollars, or you can actually get a better version of that, which is this, which is a like a brass one for about thirteen or fourteen dollars. Um, yeah, but these here. Uh, designed for the smaller torches like um, like this, like your PT31. And this is really good if you want to do circles and that sort of thing. So you just put your torch in there like so. You need a little, um, tighten the uh, Allen screws up like that. And these are very well made. They're, they're made a lot better than the other ones. That's probably why they're a bit more expensive. And just tighten that up like so. And these have a swivel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see how that swivels on here, see how that, that has a circlip on here, and that actually swivels like so, and you can cut out circles and all the rest of it, you just put this down on this end, like so, you drill a hole in your steel, and then you start, can cut like that, you know what I mean, if you want to watch a video on these, check up the top, I'll put a link up the top, and there's an in-depth video on the circle cutter here that I've actually done while I've cutting the stuff out in, the, in the, my workshop. But what I, <coughs> excuse me, but what I discovered with these guys is if you want something like this, just take the, um, take the bar off it. All these come with a, with a bar that just unscrews like so. So you take the bar off it and it turns it from a circle cutter into a, um, into a normal, into a normal cutter like that. And uh, I'll show you. So you, all you got to do is take the, like I say, take that bar off. Tighten up the um, tighten up the wheels on it. They're on little collets, so you can only get them a certain amount. But make sure they're tight. Just make sure they're tight, like that. But as you notice, they still they still spin. And if you can see these, I don't know if you can see that or not, guys. But you can see those wheels. See those wheels are angled. They are both angled in. So you can, you can put your bar, if you want to cut a circle on either this side or that side, depends which way you're going. But um, what I, just take the bar out all together, and they're angled, but you can still steer it, and it's absolutely brilliant. You just um, tighten your torch up with this here. So it's got your, your tip there to tighten the torch up, like so. And uh, if you want to go straight, after you've tightened it up, you tighten it up, and you just go straight. If you want to cut circles or angles or, or whatever you want just undo that so that gives you a free swing on here and uh, it doesn't loosen up your torch because you've already this holds your torch this little grub screw here and one on the other side 
like that, holds your torch in there securely so it doesn't come out. But this one here either locks into a straight position or unlocks it so you can move it around. And then uh, what you do is you put it on your steel and you can do all sorts of things with it. You can make yourself really clever with the thing. You can do all sorts of patterns and it, it works really well because you don't have the flex of your torch like that and it also saves on consumables for the simple reason that you've always got the right distance between your wheels and your cutting nozzle. So I think it's a good idea actually. Um, like I said, these are a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, if you want a, just a general nice cutter, you know, a cutter guide for your PT31 LG40 torch. Oh, they're known by a lot of other names too, but they're, they're normally, you know, they're normally just with the, the under 40, maybe even under 50 amp plasma cutters, they run this sort of torch. And it's with the small, quite the small diameter on your ceramic here. Um, I think it's about 20, 25 mil or something like that, which is a lot smaller, as you can see, than that. Yeah, so um, yeah, anyway guys, that's just my thoughts on these. These are really good. Um, yeah, good for cutting shapes and cutting out numbers and all sorts of things. But you might be better at it than me. You might be better at it with freehand than me, but I'm certainly not. Um, but using this makes a big difference. Like I say, if you want to have a look at my other video with this, and you can actually see me using it, cutting out circles and stuff, uh, just click the link up the top there. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my videos, guys. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. You might have figured out something better than this. But, um, yeah, like I say, I mean, for 30 bucks or 35 bucks, I think you can actually get them for $25. Um, you yeah, know, they're good value. Well, I did see a cheaper one on Amazon like this. Um, I think it was about 11 or 8 or $11.80 80 or something like that. I'm not quite sure. It was 11 or 12 bucks anyway. Um, I'll put a picture of that on there too, and I'll put some links for that one too if you want, but I haven't used that one, but, I'm, but I've ordered one, so I'll do a review on that and see how we go. But this, it doesn't look half as good a quality as these. These are, these are quite well made, and they're, they're designed to last for ages. So I'm not like, not like these ones, which are just like throwaway things. But anyway, that's my thoughts for the day, guys. If you like my videos, subscribe, like I say. Great to see you guys here again, and we'll see you next time, eh?